Jean-Baptiste de Lamar was a scientist who said that living things pass acquired traits on to their offspring. He understood the idea of heredity and passing on of traits, but he had one major flaw. He wrongly believed that an animal could make changes to itself in its lifetime, like a giraffe stretching its neck further and further to reach the leaves at the top of a tree, and that the trait would be passed on to the children. But this is wrong. It would be like thinking that you could cut off your arm, heaven forbid, and that your children would be born with an arm missing. Acquired traits are not genetic and cannot be passed on to offspring. Enter Darwin. He coined the phrase descent with modification, and that every species, living or dead, must have descended by reproduction from pre-existing species, and that species must change over time. Now, Darwin was not the only scientist to think this. Alfred Wallace came to a similar conclusion at the same time as Darwin. Darwin delineated the necessary parts of natural selection, which drove evolution. There are four main parts. First, overproduction. More offspring are produced than can survive. This creates some competition. Then there must be genetic variation. Individuals have different traits, and this is important for natural selection because traits must be selected from the variety that exists. There is a struggle to survive. Animals with adaptations may have better survival than those who do not. And then differential reproduction. Animals with the best adaptations may survive and reproduce. In natural selection, you'll often hear that it's the survival of the fittest. But what is fitness? In evolution, fitness is ultimately measured by whether the genetic material is passed on to offspring or not. If an individual has lots of viable offspring, they're fit. If they have no offspring, they're not fit because their genes are now gone from the population. And the goal is to keep a variety of genes in the population for the selection to choose from. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.